Right, so one of the stories, um, it's actually my favorite story. Uh, it's got a real place in my heart. It's about a young man called Amir, and he told me his story uh, over lunch in my kitchen, and he hadn't said it for a long time. And he gets a phone call one day um, from, it's an elderly voice on the other side of the line, and this man says, I knew your parents, I'd love to meet you. Um, come and meet me this place, this time. And Amir puts the phone down, he says, yes, yes, of course. Puts the phone down and then starts getting a bit nervous. He said, yes, yes, of course, because you know, in Iran, it's an older person, you have to be respectful. He didn't question the voice. But he also realized that it was, the number, his number didn't come up on his phone. And he's worried that he's being monitored by the state. You know, he's hanging out with student activists, he's blogging. He turns up and this, uh, to, 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 to the proposed meeting place, and just as he was about to turn around, he kind of got a little bit spooked. Um, this, car, um, this car pulls up, the um, tinted windscreen goes down, and there's an old man sitting in the back of a car. And so Amir feels perfectly safe, looks like a nice, slightly fat old man, sits in the car, car starts going up the highway, exchange pleasantries, and then the old man starts to shake. And then he says, you must forgive me, you must forgive me, you must forgive me. I am the judge who sentenced your parents to death. And Amir's parents, when the revolution happened, um, they had been pro-revolution, they'd been leftists. Um, uh, leftist intellectuals that had, you know, went and protested for the revolution. When the revolution, was also, they were also secular. When the revolution they, they felt was hijacked by the Islamists, they started to turn against the revolution and they, they held secret meetings, political meetings, where everybody, all the dissidents were welcome. And they got um, arrested, along with Amir, when he was little, and he remembers this well. And they got thrown into prison. Um, first of all, in the town where he was from in, in, in Iran, and then they got transferred to Evin prison in Tehran. And he remembers one day being with his mother in, in the prison cell, all the women were together in one cell and all the children would play and he was playing with his little friend. Um, and every now and again, his mother would be taken out for interrogation sessions, but you know, she'd come back an hour or two later. And so she'd always tell him when she'd leave and he was playing with his little friend and his mother said, you know, Amir darling, I'm going to be back. And Amir was busy playing with his little friend, so didn't bother kind of hug, hugging his mum by, yes, yes, okay, see you in a bit. And his mum left, and a few hours later, everybody was sobbing in the prison cell. And that's when little Amir was told that his mother had been hanged. And it was only when he was escorted out of the prison that day that he realized at the same time his father has all, had also been hanged. And this was part of the 1988 mass executions of, of prisoners. And